there is literally no difference i'm gonna be honest there's literally no difference between december 31st and january 1st so this whole idea of time that things are just gonna automatically change or get better on january 1st like that ain't gonna happen <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into another video. Today we're going to be talking about 2022. We're going to be talking about leveling up. We're going to be talking about goal setting. We're going to be talking about personal growth. 2022 is, it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a good year. We're, we're manifesting. So today I'm going to talk about nine ways that you can change your life in 2022, how you can level up, how you can maintain personal growth and maintain your goals. Let's get into it. Creating a routine has really helped me and this is something that I've literally not taken advantage of for so many years and it's really like caused me so much stress, so much anxiety by not following like structure and routine and not to say that my life is like super disorganized or such a mess or anything like that but i feel like a routine really helps you maintain structure it helps with consistency and it's really going to help you to achieve your goals in the long run so i would definitely say just write out a routine like literally it could be on your iphone starting from what time you're going to wake up what time you're going to shower what time you're going to meditate if you journal if you have a dog if you walk your dog so literally like just planning your day out kind of like minute by minute and i know it sounds unrealistic in a sense because you know things happen during the day like you're not always going to be able to follow your routine it's completely normal to fall off your routine you know for a day or two or whatever the case but the idea is to stay on a routine just to give yourself some structure some consistency and you will notice that like you're just happier and as children we had routines pretty much you know like what time we went to bed we had a bedtime what time we woke up what time we brushed our teeth what time we got on the bus what time we came home from school what time we started our homework dinner all of that so routine just really helps you in growth and it helps you to really just stay on track and not feel super discombobulated and like you have so much going on and you have so much to do routine schedule structure like that's all gonna help you in the long run so this is something that i talk about often and this is something that i talk to women especially about so saying yes why are we programmed to say yes to a lot of things especially things that we don't want to do what's serving you what's not serving you what makes you happy what's not making you happy i feel like we just say yes because sometimes you know we don't want to hurt people's feelings or we don't want to feel left out or we feel like we're obligated to say yes to certain things so it's really going to help you with personal growth and achieving happiness is really just being true to yourself and being honest with other people if there's something that you really don't want to do let's take work out of it sometimes we do things for work that you know we don't really want to do we're not really crazy about it but we know that it's something that needs to get done yes this can apply to work but i'm talking about outside of work for the most part like saying yes to going out maybe you're really tired maybe you have like a really long week and your friends are asking you to like go out and you don't want to but in the past maybe you just said yes to these things or for instance you got asked to go on a trip somewhere and you don't really have the funds or you're planning to go on a different trip maybe a bigger trip and you need to save your money for that trip just being able to be honest with yourself and saying no when your intuition tells you your body will tell you in like a second whether you're meant to do something or you're not meant to do something. Yes, some things take extra time to process things or to think about things and all that. But to be honest with you, like most of the time, if you tell someone like, oh, let me think about it or let me get back to you, you know that the answer is really no. You know that deep down in your soul, you want to tell them no. Stop saying yes to things that you do not want to do. So another way to grow in 2022 is to make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Yes, we are talking about self-care. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm always talking about self-care. I'm always pushing self-care. I'm always telling you guys to show up for yourselves 
to give the same time and energy to yourself that you give your jobs or your family or your kids. This is really, really important. So having a self-care routine is really going to do your mind and body a favor. So self-care can include exercise, meditation, journaling, therapy, getting massages, um, just taking the proper time to rest, like making sure you get enough sleep. Sleep is so important. And I've always known this, that sleep was important. And I've always loved sleep. Like I'm not a morning person. And I'm just going to put that out there because I'm just not. So y'all are never going to see me talking about like, oh, I love to wake up at 6 a.m. and meditate and start my day by just watching the sunrise. Girl, no. I wake up after a good eight hours of rest. I work at night, I teach classes at night, so my body's really exhausted. So just finding a schedule that works for you, finding a sleep schedule that works for you, and going back to that routine, just putting that into your routine, like what time you're gonna go to bed, what time you're gonna wake up, all of that is part of your self-care routine. Do not neglect yourself, because when you start neglecting yourself, like everything around you suffers literally everything around you suffers from the relationships that you have with your friends the way that you talk to people your mood your attitude if you're tired you're not able to give a hundred percent all of that ties into your self-care and i listened to this podcast shout out to the brown girl self-care podcast i just started listening a couple weeks ago and i love it i'm actually gonna tag it down in the description so you guys can listen but she talks about you know pouring from an empty cup you know if you're not taking care of yourself and you're not putting yourself first and you're not taking care of your body and all of that like you're literally pouring from an empty cup when you're working when you're around other people when you're trying to help your community when you're doing all these things like and you're exhausted you're mentally exhausted you're physically exhausted you're emotionally exhausted like you can't give a hundred percent you can't do a good job and not only that like you're never really going to to enjoy what you're doing if you're exhausted you're gonna end up literally draining yourself and things that you were excited about before you're not even gonna be excited about them now because <laughs> you're just focused on like going to bed or just sitting still like sitting still that is part of self-care like you don't have to be moving all the time and this is something that I learned I used to be so restless and I still kind of am okay but there's so much benefit in just sitting still and resting and just like sitting in silence like we don't always need to have the tv on or music on or you know things stimulating us like i think with us and especially this generation and like millennials and gen z like we're so used to just being stimulated all the time being connected all the time to our phone so even just like set times on your phone where you put your phone on do not disturb unless you have kids sometimes you know that's a little hard to do but i put my phone on do not disturb starting at like 11 p.m every night sometimes 10 30 because i just really need that time to just disconnect and to just like reflect on the day focus on what i'm doing tomorrow so yeah self-care is a big deal and i need y'all to tap into that for 2022 so let's talk finances a little bit and i am in no way a financial advisor lord i am far from that okay but one way that you're you're gonna grow in 2022 is by evaluating your finances so something that I'm doing right now is going through my finances for 2021 and I'm just really seeing like what I was spending my money on where was most of my money going what are some things that could be cut out what are some expenses that could be cut out where can I save money you know going into 2022 because part of your personal growth is going to be growing your money as well and making sure that you are financially stable making sure you're making the right choices financially making sure you're spending your money on things that are beneficial not just you know entertainment if if your money is going towards 70% entertainment like you have a problem that being said just definitely take a look at your finances for the year and start planning out where your money is gonna be going next year definitely get you a budget spreadsheet and work on that Okay, this one is super, super important, all right? The people that you surround yourself with can make or break you. I'm gonna say that again. The people that you surround yourself with can make or break you, literally, okay? So if you are hanging around people who have no goals, who are not moving forward, who are not growing in life, who have no personal goals, who have no financial stability, all of that, like, it's going to 
start to affect you. It's gonna start to affect your thinking if you're always hanging around those people, right? And these are people that could be in your family. These are people that you might have been friends with for 10 plus years. When you surround yourself with people who are like-minded, they want to grow, they want to elevate, it's really going to help you in the long run, right? The company that you keep, it, it's really important, honestly. Like, there's there's no other way that I could put it. You want to be around people that are pushing you, that are motivating you, that are helping you level up, that are putting you on to things, that are putting you onto books, to podcasts, master classes, to events, anything that's helping you grow as an individual. If you're around people like that who are focused on growth and not only focused on their growth, but they want to help you grow, they see potential in you, you need to keep those people around, okay? You really need to keep those people around. And I'm not saying that these people need to be your best friends or you need to be chilling with them every day. No, what I'm saying is you want to stay in communication with these people, right? You want to surround yourself with these people. So even if these people aren't in your direct circle, but you maybe follow them on Instagram or maybe you saw them talk at like a seminar that you went to or you follow them on YouTube, that would still be considered surrounding yourself with like-minded people or people that are gonna help you grow. So start to identify who in your circle or the people that are around you, whether that be at work or whether that be in your friend group. Start to identify the people who are stagnant, who are okay with just staying exactly where they are, the people who might be toxic, the people who are always making excuses, the people who always wanna be the victim, the people who don't wanna elevate, the people who are not consistent. Identify those people and spend less time around them. Spend less communication with them. Like, communicate less. Communicate less with them. Notice where you're putting your energy and it's really gonna help you in the long run. So I'm a firm believer in getting to know yourself and getting to know who you are. The only way that you can really do that is to isolate yourself. And I'm not saying isolate yourself in terms of like, shutting the world out and just not answering your phone and not going outside and being a hermit and all that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about really just tapping in to who you are, really getting to know yourself, seeing what you like, what you don't like. Just trying to understand who you are as a person is really going to help you grow in 2022. I think in your 20s, if you if you are in your 20s and you're watching this, sometimes it takes a while to really get to know who you are and really understand your purpose. But when you do start understanding who you are and you do start realizing what your purpose is and you do start listening to yourself, it's really an amazing thing. So one way that you're really gonna be able to like learn about yourself is to spend time by yourself. This is something that is easier said than done. You know, if you're an extrovert, you might always wanna be in other people's company. If you're an introvert, this is something that it's probably a little bit easier for you. I myself am an extroverted introvert. I enjoy spending time by myself. Like spend time by yourself, really like get to know yourself, really love yourself. Like this is this is really the message. This is this is the whole message. The entire message here, the idea here is to love yourself, okay? And if you're someone that feels like I can't love myself, you know, I, it's hard for me to love myself. I need someone to love me. I need someone to help me grow. I need someone to push me. You are in for a rude awakening, okay? Because if you do happen to be by yourself, whether that means you and your partner break up, whether that means you lose a family member, whether that means you are forced in a situation where you have to move in by yourself, you are gonna be in for a rude awakening. If you're not able to be within your own company, that is a huge red flag, okay? That is a huge red flag for yourself. You need to really sit down and evaluate why you cannot be in your own company, why you always have to be around other people, why you are not happy with yourself. So every year going into the new year, we all write down goals, we all write down resolutions, what we're gonna do the next year, what we're gonna get done, what our goals are. They're always to work out more, start going to the gym more, um, to eat healthy, to meditate, all of those things, right? And that's all great. And I'm not saying that these aren't realistic goals. What I'm saying is sometimes we write down this list of goals or we have like a mood board and we have just like this big idea or picture of what our new year is going to look like. This is the thing. There is literally no difference. I'm going to be honest. There's literally no difference between December 31st and January 1st. So this whole idea of time that things are just going to automatically change or get better on January 1st, like 
that ain't gonna happen. So all of those goals that you're writing down, all of your resolutions, they need to be realistic goals. And one way that you can make them realistic goals is to set short-term and long-term goals, okay? So I like to set monthly goals for myself. Yes, I do have long-term goals, which usually are between a year and three years, right? Those are my long-term goals. But my short-term goals, which are monthly goals, or even weekly goals, right? But let's just focus on monthly. But if you set three goals per month, that's three times 12, those are 36 goals that you knocked out for the year, okay? So 36 goals that you knocked out for the year, and some of those could be repetitive. You could repeat your goals for each month, right? And they don't have to be specific to anything. They could literally be financial, they could be focused on your mental health, they could be focused on your personal growth, your health, anything like that, right? So if you focus on three goals a month, right? That's realistic. You're not putting a lot of pressure on yourself. You're not saying like, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds in a week. Say that you're someone that wants to lose 50 pounds, just say in 2022, period, right? How can you get to that 50 pound weight loss goal? If you, if you set a goal to lose three pounds a month, right? Five pounds a month, you'll get to your goal by the end of the year. So just really setting like small goals for yourself is really gonna help you in the long run. So at some point, you're gonna have to identify what your values are. We're talking about your personal values, what means the most to you, what is important to you, okay, in your adult life. So for me right now, the three most important values are peace, happiness, and stability. So those are three things that I am focused on for 2022, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna write down what your values are. You can start with three, you could do five, whatever. I think three is a good number, okay? And you want to add these into your daily routine, okay? So you can add these, if you're someone that journals, you can write down these values every single day. If you're someone that meditates, you can literally add these into your meditation. If you're someone that likes affirmations and you talk to yourself in the mirror, you can add in these values every single day. It's kind of like you're manifesting, right? You're manifesting these values into your life so that they can come into reality. So for me, if peace is one of my values and peace is something that I'm really, really focused on for 2022, I'm gonna make sure I see peace everywhere, right? I write down the word peace. I speak the word peace. I talk to people about peace. I always make sure that peace is something that I'm throwing out there, making sure that people know that I want peace, right? The only way that you're going to be able to obtain things and to live a certain life is by speaking it into existence and practicing it. Yes, you can talk about it. You could talk that talk all you want, but if you are not putting in the work and you're not actually living the life or trying to live the life that you want to build for yourself it's not gonna happen values keep us in check values keep us from making rash you know irrational decisions and values really help us to build the life that we want to build for ourselves growing up we always heard about like family values what are your family values and that's important right when building a family i think setting your values like what what really matters most to you when you're building a family like what do people see when they look at your family? You know, like, are they happy people? Are they peaceful people? Are they kind people? You know, these are all values. So just really setting those for yourself and identifying those and making sure you're sticking to those values is really gonna help you in 2022, boo. So the last way that you can change your life in 2022 is by focusing on your confidence. Focus on building your confidence. When you're a confident person, you let people know exactly who you are. And I'm not even talking about like verbally, okay? You don't have to be like, I am Sarafina from Brazil and you should know who I am. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you literally exuding confidence, right? When you're confident, people can't play with you. People can't take advantage of you. You let people know exactly what you're about. You let people know what you're gonna tolerate, what you're not gonna tolerate, what you expect. And this goes for all things. This goes for relationships, this goes for friendships, this goes for work relationships, work settings, okay? When you're a confident person and you're set in who you are and you're set in your values and you really know your worth, you know your worth, that is a big one. You know your worth. 
when you're someone that's unsure of yourself or you lack confidence or you lack self-worth it's very easy for people to take advantage of you and it's very easy for people to try to judge you and to try to manipulate you and get you off your focus and get you off your game so when you're confident and you know what you want and you know that you're on the right path and you know that you're doing everything that you could possibly do to be the best version of yourself you will find yourself living a much happier life okay confidence is gonna help you with your work performance confidence is gonna help you with public speaking confidence is gonna help you with your appearance your movement if you're someone like me who's a dancer or a fitness instructor like confidence is really gonna help you to help other people at the end of the day if you're showing people that you're not confident and you're unsure about things they're gonna be unsure about you as well and sometimes a part of confidence is really just faking it till you make it we don't always have days where we feel our best selves right but we we show up we show up we get it done we, we do what it do baby okay guys thank you so much for tuning in today i hope this video was super helpful and useful to you as we prepare for 2022 really really focus on how you can become a better person how you can make the quality of your life better and how you can improve your relationships with people around you that's really going to help you grow so again thank you for watching if you are not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button comment below let me know what some of your goals are what you're focusing on for 2022 if you have anything that you want to add that has helped you with your personal growth or things that have helped you change your life in a positive way comment below let's talk about it and i will see y'all in the next video take care